to Summoner's Rift. Okay, we are getting back into the action. Our second match of the night, House Party 5v5, going to be the new Exalt on blue side versus Team Tryhard on red side, both rocking a few subs for the evening. <laughs> Week one needing just a little bit of help to get up off the ground as we rule out who's going to be playing and who's not. On the red side, it's going to be Proceed to Feed, Wump Buff, and Iconic. They had an emergency substitution approved, and they're using their registered sub as well on top of that. On the blue side, for the new Exalt, going to be Rigel Q. Enemy 271, Sinful Baggins, Fuzzy Jeebus, uh, Sinful Baggins, and CRS Mycroft. A crack Variety going to be their emergency sub as well. Both teams hanging back, not doing too much. Not very much jungle action going on, looking like a red start for blue side. On the red side, looking like uh, a blue side start, a uh, blue side of the jungle start for them. Just Stone and Rigel Cube going to be facing off in this top lane. Diesel's Empire coming in as a sub for Red Side in the middle lane. Jetstone actually transitioning from a sub to a full time roster spot. Ended up taking the top lane spot for Team Tryhard after they had a no-show the entire week for their top laner. Just a one division difference between him and the summoner that he ended up replacing, so things should work out pretty similarly for them as well. Crack Variety deciding to take his Lissandra against Cassidy in the mid lane, both really facing off fairly well. Not too much action going on there. Cassidy bringing in the flask. He's going to have a lot of sustain. Crack Variety getting some great damage down on him with the ignite. That forces the flash back. Diesel's Empire is only level 3. He has three more levels until he's able to use his rift walk. And it looks like the flash is going to be down for the entirety of it. Iconic eating up a lot of damage. Wumpa Buff trying to put it down with the Gatling gun, but uh, enemy 271 is just putting down a lot more bursts at level 2 with uh, with his Lucian than uh, a Corky's capable of putting out. Diesel's Empire has managed to regain some of his health. And, uh, quite a bit of mana. They're catching Iconic out in the bottom lane. though forces the flash out. Flashes and the exhaust going down onto him. Enemy ends up picking up first blood with the help of Mycroft for his team. That one's going over to the new exalt as they take a very slight, very early lead here. Crack Variety ends up piecing out after the Nautilus gank. Proceed Defeat not going to find anything there. Decides to go back up into his jungle. Sinful Baggins, meanwhile, at his blue buff. Checking out things over there. Hitting level 4. Haven't seen him show up on the map too much yet. Vi's not one of those champions that can gank very well before the level 5 mark, level 6 mark. Uh, kind of need a big opportunity to present itself. Looking like Central Vagans is going to post up. For this gank in the mid lane, getting the Q off, gets the dash into it with Crack Variety, gonna be able to pick up their second kill of the match. Diesel's Empire gonna be sent back to base. That flash being down for him really spelled disaster in that, and uh, really Crack Variety deserves a lot of credit 
for the kill onto that one by forcing that flash away from him around level 3. So he's sitting at level 5 now, going to come back to base, going to try to hit level 6 and, uh, and force his cast in a game out onto the rift. We'll see if the dynamic does end up changing once he gets himself back in lane and hits level 6. Sinful back into just missing with that VIQ. Uh, it looked like Jetstone just completely skated over it. Not sure how exactly that happened, but that was really unfortunate for Sinful Baggins. Jetstone gonna be just fine, gonna get his farm back on in the top lane. Looking like Proceed to Feed circling around the crack variety wants to grab the retribution kill here. Diesel's Empire is not level 6 yet. And Proceed to Feed coming in onto crack variety here. Both champions going down onto Diesel's Empire still not level 6. Crack variety is ends up flashing over the wall. He still had that one available and that's going to get him out just fine. Flash did get forced away from Crack Variety though, as Diesel approaches level 6. Just now hitting it, Crack Variety's got to be careful of that. So he does have himself a good escape, does have uh, some decent crowd control with his ultimate, which is still available at this point. Sinful Baggins approaching level 6 himself with the Vi ultimate. He's going to find a lot more success potential in his game. Crack Variety getting jumped on hard. Ends up popping the ultimate to give himself a little bit of escape there, but Proceed to Feed and Diesel's going to pick up that one for themselves. Red Side has the opportunity to drag in here. Not a lot of blue presence on the map from the new Exalt, but Team Tryhard uh, electing just to head back to their respective lanes, jungle, and uh, keep going along with it. So, could have been a good pickup for them, but deciding to play it a little bit safe and just keep back at it. In our bottom lane here, 56 to 47 CS in favor of one buff. In the mid lane, Lissandra pulling quite well ahead at 44 to 32, but the top lane seeing a big disparity. Rigel Q has 59 CS to 42. Good lead for him there in that top lane. No kills on either one of them, though. I think both are just feeling it out, uh, biding their time, uh, waiting for a general presence to sort of equalize things. Both Jax and Aurelia really good at uh, facing off in a 1v1 against each other. The enemy now gets dumped on, has to pop the summoner heal, but the damage from Wumplebuff ends up taking him out. Mycroft on the run now, the great solar flare coming across for Iconic. He ends up grabbing that kill for himself. So 2 for 0 oh exchange for Red Side. Great counter invade pulled off by Sinful Baggins there grabbed himself a kill, stole the buff. That really put Proceed to Feed in a bad position. Rigel Q getting in position for a tower dive in the top lane, but doesn't look like Simple Baggins wants to make that happen. He has his ult, he has his Q. It could work out either way. Rigel is low enough now, and Jetstone definitely would be able to get that stun off underneath the turret. That could spell a lot of trouble. Diesel wasting no time in using his ultimate advantage to bully Crack Variety. Put some really good harass down on him. Simple Baggins is going in for it now though. Misses with the Q, but the R is available. Gonna follow it up with the R damage. The E gonna provide what Rizal Q needed. He ends up taking that out with the last hit. Great gank being pulled off from Simple Baggins there. Diesel's Empire swinging back toward mid lane. Crack Variety jumping onto him with the stun forces him to rift walk away from that one. Mycroft 
coming in now, but enemy gets hard engaged on Iconic getting deep up in his face. Wumpa buff popping the rockets. The solar flare goes down onto enemy. Great stun point blank to the face from Iconic. That is the second ultimate he's pulled off this game. That was just exactly where it needed to be. Bullseye coming in hard for him. Enemy going to fall in that engagement. Four to four. We have ourselves a very close game. It is neck and neck. 15,000 gold per side. Nobody's game yet. No dragons taken. No towers falling just yet. It is a slugfest out there. Team Tryhard pushing up this bottom lane area. Trying to get some damage down onto this turret, thinking like they want this turret to be the first one to fall in the game. They certainly have the advantage. Mycroft popping his shield there, shielding the turret up a little bit. Iconic getting engaged on now as enemy rejoins the lane, though he is plenty tanky enough to survive that one. The Braum ultimate is not enough to make that happen. Jetstone getting counterattacked on here. He's going to use the stun to his advantage here. Stuns Rise of Q underneath the uh, barely outside turret range. Gets the ultimate off, though, and that swung the balance in his favor. Jetstone getting the retribution kill. One and one for both sides. 85 farm to 68 farm in favor of Jax. But you know what? Jetstone got to feel good about that play right there. It was down to the last 50 hit points, and he pulled it off. Sinful Baggins coming in for a gank here, knows that he has the clearance to try to swing the favor back around for his team. Diesel jumping onto Crack Variety, thanks to Proceed to V. Proceed getting a great ultimate down on the Lissandra. Sinful Baggins jumping in now chooses to use the ultimate on Iconic. Wumpa Buff having to jump up out of this one. Lissandra is still getting chased down in the mid lane, but Rigel has joined the fight in that area. Enemy and Baggins bringing it up, and Dragon is being eyeballed by both teams. Just circling around this area, Baggins is in trouble if he gets caught. Jetstone choosing not to hit him with the slow. The VQ just missing out on proceed to feed, but both of those blue side teammates are isolated from the rest of their team. The rest of their team having to back up around this dragon area to rejoin them. But it doesn't look like they're going to focus on this dragon. Both sides choosing to give it up and play it safe. Not going to see any dragon action this time around. Game still incredibly close. Both sides taking a look at those minor mistakes at those tiny little advantages they're giving up and seeing how they can shore up those weaknesses. Crack Variety has to go back here. He has not had a great time with Jesus Empire post level 6. Has managed to keep Diesel in lane for quite a good majority of the game, which is a positive against the Cassidy. But uh, as far as regaining that dominance that he had prior to level 6, I don't think Diesel's Empire is going to let him back into that territory. He's just got a lot of upfront, in-your-face damage, and Lissandra is one of those champions that uh, likes to be upfront and in the enemy's face as well. So both really putting together a lot of risk when they go in against each other, but Diesel's escape and engage on a much lower cooldown than Crack Varieties. So he's using that to his advantage here. Proceed to feed, camping out this mid lane, pitching his tent, looking for the perfect opportunity to come across on the Lissandra. Mycroft getting hard engaged now by Iconic. Iconic does not get the stun off on the ultimate this time, and Baggins is here for the retribution. The exhaust going on to Mycroft, but it's not going to mean much. Iconic, the last one left alive in this bottom lane, the Brom Q ends up missing him out. He's going to be safe underneath his turret, but that was a successful gank coming away for the new Exalt. 7-5. and five, They have themselves the first real lead of the game, just shy of 1,000 gold, though, and they are engaging onto this dragon. 
enemy trying to provide some distance for his teammates to work on that dragon's hit points. Rise of Q, Crack Variety going to join it, and it looks like the new Exalt going to take the first dragon of the game, and rather handily, no contest coming over from Team Tryhard. Diesel's Empire getting out of that one easily, showing his ability to use that champion to its maximum effectiveness. Jetstone trying to fend off the damage to that turret. That is a blue side turret. Gonna go down first of the game in favor of red side. Crack Variety gonna get a blue donated over him in the mid lane, so that should help with the cooldowns with the ability to keep up with the Karthus. Still has the flask in the inventory, so that sustain's still a factor in the game. That blue buff gonna come in plenty handy. Sinful Baggins choosing to go back now. He's got about 20 seconds left before his ultimate comes back up. He should have that available once he gets back to lane. Crack Variety farming away in this mid lane. That has been his saving grace. 124 farm to 48 farm. So in that department, Diesel's Empire getting out class. He's going to need to bring these kills up. He's sitting at 1 and 2 at 17 minutes into the game. Mycroft going in hard now, but decides to back out after one Zenith Blade. W not going to hit anybody on that one as well. Jesus Empire going in on Crack Variety for some damage, but uh, Crack putting out a good fair bit himself back. Iconic wanting to clear this ward out, but eh, Mycroft is just on top of him. Enemy bringing up the rear there to provide some extra damage. Jetstone rotating from top lane, and it looks like Variety knows it. He's getting out of this one. Iconic face check in the brush, runs into a Vi there. Not good news for him. Tries to use the ultimate to get himself some escape room. Jetstone teleporting him in, joined the fight. A Vi ultimate going on to Wumpelbuff, and he's being double teamed by Proceed to Feed. Jetstone going to fall to the three-man charge. Rigel Q leading that one. Enemy bringing up the rear, but they are falling very low. Crack Variety coming in here with the ultimate. Going to lock down tons of damage there. Wumplebuff on the outskirts of that, though, shooting rockets into the melee. Rigel Q going to pick up the kill that sends Diesel's Empire back to base, taking him out of this fight. Crack Variety eats another rocket to the back of the head there. All-out brawl. Two for two exchange in this bottom lane. Seeing all 10 participants. Crack Variety jumping in on top of both enemy players getting the kill for his team there. Ends up falling his, himself as well though. Just tit for tat. This whole game is kill for kill, CS for CS, trade for trade. The only substantial lead on the map coming out in the mid and bottom lanes. Right now, 154 to 108 farm on the 80 carries. Enemy is having an issue. Wumple is, has got just as many kills, sitting on about two to three kills worth of farm better than his opponent down there. And he has his Triforce completed. He has hit his mid-game power spike, and I think he is in a fantastic position to really make some things happen here. Baggins coming in for the turret protect. Ends up chasing Diesel's Empire away from the turret. Rival Q and Jet duking it out. Baggins going in with the Q and not going to find anything there. He's deciding to double down, place a ward here. Diesel's Empire jumping onto him with the slow. Baggins gets slowed by Jetstone as well. Rigel running back into the fight to keep his teammates safe. Baggins quite lucky he made it out of that one. The stun from Iconic, though, absolutely shutting down the new Exalt. They did not have any success on that turret there. Crack Variety sticking around way too long, and Team Tryhard have gained a significant advantage for the next 30 seconds. They have complete control of this map. 
they're going to want to take one turret, two turrets, possibly even three. And ward up this jungle, be in an excellent spot for when they buy. They're going to settle with two turrets. Fantastic pickup for them. Iconic really made that one happen with his ultimate. That solar flare caught at least three members of the new exalt completely unaware and just allowed Team Tryhard to completely face wreck that. Dragon coming back to live status in 30 seconds. We'll see if Team Tryhard can secure their first dragon of the game. The new exalt taking a look at that opportunity as a way to equalize things after having lost those two turrets and that last team fight. Proceed defeat going in there with the ward clear, but the wards keep coming over the wall from the new exalt. Another turret going down this time, first one of the game for the new exalt. Going be in the mid lane, both sides posting up for this, and it's going down. Proceed defeat has to dash out of that one. The flash going to be burned on him. The anchor Q. Getting him close, but the buy ultimate is going to lock him down for destruction. 4v5 situation for Team Tryhard. Mumpo Buff getting those rockets in there to try to get the damage down and scare the new Exalt away from this Dragon Pit area. Team Tryhard on top of this Dragon but the new Exalt are waiting in the wings on the other side of the Dragon Pit, wanting to make something happen here. The dance is on. Tryhard just don't know what to do. They are trying to clear these wards out, trying to maintain vision in this pit, and Exalt are just sitting around being complete nuisances, dropping wards everywhere, waiting to buy their time. This could spell trouble for Team Tryhard. Simple Dragon's jumping up over the wall to try to get the steal, but that one just didn't work out for him. He did not win the smite war on that. That's going to be another dragon going over to Team Tryhard. 12 and 12 and kills. 2,000 gold lead separates both sides. Not very much at this stage in the game. 190 farm to 122 farm in favor of one buff in the top in the bottom lane. But he is working out very well. Crack variety taking out this blue buff. Both sides at a stalemate now, but definitely this game tipping in favor of Team Tryhard. Having the two dragons in their favor makes all the difference in the world. Simple Baggins in this mid lane trying to clear it out, push things back up to their side. He had a few good ganks early on, but things have not worked out the best for him in the mid game. He's transitioning from the jungle item into a random one's armor at this point, but 24 minutes in has not been able to complete it, unfortunately. Proceed to feed, just face checking in the wrong spot, wrong time, bad place for him to be. Mistakes like that, New Exalt going to capitalize on them, going to pick at any chink in the armor right now. Both teams doing a fairly good job on the vision, not just the vision placement, but the vision denial as well. A lot of wards have been killed this game. Another sweeper going down. Not needed though. Pink ward going to fall there as well. Iconic staying on top of the vision control. Drops a pink at the dragon area as well. Jetstone and Rigel Cube duking it out now though. 
the epic battle not quite finished with the stun going off onto Rigel Q, but that's not going to leave Jetstone enough breathing room. He ends up falling there, going to 3-3. Three three. Meanwhile, the Jacks sitting at 6-1, 183 farm to 148 farm. So the top lane matchup definitely going in favor of Rigel Q. Enemy picking up quite a few CS thanks to the culling there. Setting his sights on this turret with Mycroft's help, nobody within range to contest that one. Second turret of the game for red side. Gonna be going down. Third turret of the game for red side. Gonna be going down. Diesel's Empire pushing out the bottom lane as Mycroft hits the back button, starting to go spend some of that gold. Taking a look at the gold disparities, got 8,300 in favor of Jetstone, but 9,500 in favor of Rigel Cube. So he has got his Triforce, got his Rando and Zoman finished, and Jetstone still sitting on the components of that item. Both sides going in on each other. Iconic misses with the E though. Baggins going in hard onto Diesel's Empire. Gets the ultimate off onto him. Jetstone gets blasted by Crack Variety. He has to piece up out of that one, but Rigel Cube brings up the rear there. Now transitioning onto Iconic. Iconic has to flash out the damage coming in from Jax. Going to pick up that kill as well. Enemy having to dodge rockets here. Wumble Buff chasing him out. Rigel Q and Mycroft in a bad spot here. Wumble Buff is plenty healthy though. Gets dumped on by Crack Variety. Enemy brings up the back there to finish that one off as well. Another kill going over to them and the ace in the pocket of the new exalt. That was a two for five exchange. Worked out absolutely perfectly for them. Three for five exchange. Great plays and they extend their gold lead up to about 1500 and this dragon pit area is a minute away from being yet another bloodbath so both sides move down to that area uh, sort of you know try to play the vision game and gain control of their respective areas in time for the spawn look like blue has plenty of coverage in that area wards over the wall are going to get spotted more than likely by the coverage that they put down with the pink wards, plus the sweepers. Uh, of course, Blue wants to be in the dragon pit. They want to pick up their first dragon in the game, and right now their smite is being chased down. Sinful Baggins in a rough position here. He gets absolutely caught out. Five-man destruction going down onto him, and that removes every hope of the new exalt for getting this dragon. He's still down for another 30 seconds. Iconic biting off more than he can chew on this one. Puts the ultimate at his feet. Unfortunately, nobody was at his feet. He ended up whiffing that one too. Jetstone jumping in here, though. Tryhard does not need to jump in here. They had the numbers advantage to play the dragon dance, and they let the new exalt just completely bully them out of the area. Crack Variety jumping in onto Wumble Buff gets the stun. He is doing fantastic for himself. Sitting at 7 kills, nearly 200 farm, and he just deleted Wumble Buff from that fight. Every advantage Team Tryhard had in that engagement, they completely gave it away. And Exalt played that perfectly. They played it exactly how they needed to. They were going in on the back foot, a man down. Their smite was not on the battlefield, and they took that dragon away from Team Tryhard. Very impressive, impressive play coming across for the new Exalt, and they're going to want to get back on their side of the map, play some vision as they retreat, and uh, spend a little bit of that money that they've earned. Jetstone playing the vision game. Deciding to clear things out. 
ends up grabbing the two wards, continuing the extreme ward death that we've seen. Grabs his third ward. It was quite a bit of vision control within the span of 20 seconds, Jetstone, knocking out three wards from New Exalt. Baggins popping the sweeper there to get one down for himself. Impressive amount of coverage coming up. Both sides have a good sideline on this dragon. Iconic using the sweeper to deny another piece of vision and drops a ward there himself. Pings for blue side going down onto the red buff area. Baggins, Rigel Q, Mycroft going in onto this dragon as Mycroft decides to clear out another ward. Rizal Q and Baggins clearing out a ward themselves. They're camping around the red buff area waiting for Exalt to make a mistake and it looks like Crack Variety gonna get snagged. Proceed to feed going in onto that engagement. Rizal Q is in the middle of it. Baggins in a rough spot here. Crack Variety getting chased down. The culling coming across the wall as enemy joins the fight. Ends up playing cleanup crew here. He's at full health. How much can he do? Mycroft going to fall next. Not going to be enough. Four for one exchange in favor of Team Tryhard. And they're deciding to push this mid lane out. Looking like they're going to have plenty of room to make something happen. First inhibitor turret of the game going to be going over to Team Tryhard. So they have regained the balance here. The gold, co gold total is within a thousand. And right now, map positioning is everything and with an inhibitor inhibitor turret down team tryhard has all the advantage that they need in order to keep this going if they keep playing the way they have proactively with the vision and taking little victories and little engagements here and there as they come to them they stand a good chance of being able to come out victorious in this of course exalt stands equally good chance Neither team is seeing the game without, uh, outside of their reach. Both have some really good opportunities here, but Exalt going to have to make up for their inhibitor turret being down. That one is a big Achilles heel for them, and they're going to have to catch Team Tryhard out of position, doing something that they got no business doing. The Vision War continues to be played, and with members of each team venturing off in enemy territory, anything can happen. Jetstone getting caught here. Proceed to feed is in the middle. Rizal Q bringing up the line here. Enemy pops the culling. The rocket's coming in from the side from Wumblebuff, but he is by himself. Absolutely no peel for him. The rocket jump not going to be good enough for him. The Valkyrie not going to get him out of that one ends up surviving actually though with the flash sitting on very low health really team tryhard played that as well as they could for getting caught the way they did exalt wanted to make that team fight a big thing and just wasn't able to get Team Tryhard in their grip. Tryhard, much too slippery. Ended up getting out of that one, but uh, flashes are on cooldown across the board on their side. And the next engagement could go a lot differently. One, two, three flashes up for the new Exalt, and they may have the advantages that they need Right now, Tryhard cannot afford to be caught out of position again. 20 seconds on the Dragon Timer. Both sides know it. Both sides have 
really played to this dragon quite extensively and the entire game has revolved around this pit. Ward's going over the wall now as the dragon has spawned. Both teams just feeling each other out. A few missiles being lobbed here. The dragon gets activated, chasing Team Tryhard off of that position. Looks like they're coming around into this brush for a little bit of cover. Jack's bringing up the side there, cutting them off though. Don't think Tryhard knows what to do at this point. They have the speed shrine there. They have the position advantage. But at any point, things can turn on them. Proceed to feed going in hard now as the team fight erupts. Iconic hitting quite a few with his ultimate there. Jetstone jumping in on top of Sinful Baggins. Ends up falling there. The Crack Variety putting down damage from the back line. Proceed to feed is on top of him. Diesel's Empire needs to flash up out of that one as Rigel Cube is mixing it up, getting the damage down onto him. Not too many targets left for him to destroy. Crack Variety and Rizal Q going in on the fourth target. That is a four for two exchange coming out in their favor. So Exalt showing what they're capable of in a team fight situation. Baggins does not have his smite up, but it's not going to matter. First dragon of the game going over to blue team. Two dragons sitting on Team Tryhard. Exalt had a little bit to make up in that regard, but they have taken the other aspects of this game and really pushed it to their limits. Coming out ahead in the past two team fights that we've played, quite a bit of action in their favor. Will they be able to take it and turn it into some objective kills? outside of the dragon pit remains to be seen but their dragon control has been very strong Baron being warded up now as that objective continues to be a uh, possibility for both sides Lots of words continuing to be dropped all over the map. Neither side showing any sign of giving up at this stage in the game. We could be in for quite an extended brawl. Where's both sides showing their desire to team fight. And uh, we could see another engagement coming here. The ping's going down on the crack variety. Jetstone wants to get the stun there, grabs it by coming in. Simple Baggins providing the disengage. Proceed to be going in on top of the new Exalt with his ultimate. Enemy is in, caught in a bad spot here. His ultimate not going to hit anything with the auto attacks. Does end up picking up one though. Going in after Iconic. Now Diesel's Empire is on his face though. Pops the Zonia's Hourglass. The auto attacks going across the flash from Enemy. Going to pick that one up as well. Rigel Q going to snag one as well. Ace in the pocket of the new Exalt. They have shown their ability to team fight here grab themselves an ace for it a two for five exchange in their favor and this turret is Swiss cheese that's going to open up this mid lane for them they're gonna get an inhibitor for their troubles as well 15 seconds on the nearest death timer and that inhibitor was 100 percent free for them after winning that team fight Team Tryhard got to be looking at their options here. They're sitting down 5,000 gold. The uh, the positions on the map heavily in favor of the new Exalt. They've got the ward coverage down. Not a lot of wards have been dropped here lately by Team Tryhard. They're going to want to get back out there and light the place up. Looking at the barren area, looks like they may make a counter 
attempt on this Baron Pit right now. Crack Variety is in the bottom lane. He's not very healthy, and he's not close at all. So it's going to be a 5 versus 4 situation. But Exalt have the Baron on their side. Will Team Tryhard decide to peel up off of it? Proceed Defeat is going in hard. Gets the ultimate down. Simple Baggins in a rough spot here. He's not with his team. Ends up falling there. Went in in a 5v1 situation. And Red Team have the option to go back for the Baron again or force the fight. They're not going to do either. They're just sort of sitting around. Rigel Q coming in now to say hello and enemy bringing up the side. Crack Variety is pretty close as well. Proceed to feed. Gonna fall there. Big missteps coming across for red side. Backing in that area. Not a very good idea. They needed to be the ones in control of the pace of the team fight. This Empire gets shot by Crack Variety. This is going to be a Baron. Going over to the new Exalt. Iconic gets the ultimate down. Good ultimate. Going to keep him alive. But that's the only thing it's going to do. Right now the Baron is in the hands of the new Exalt. And there's absolutely nothing Team Tryhard can do about it. This just went from bad to worse for Tryhard. They are so far behind. 7,000 gold in favor of the new Exalt. And they have not won a team fight for the past 10 minutes. Not boating well for them. Things were very close in the early game. But at some point, Exalt just broke away. These minions are just steps away from the Nexus turrets. Exalt taking a look at that dragon timer. 30 seconds now until that objective spawns and Jax heading back to base to grab himself a quick buy. He and enemy are going to be joining their team in this pit. The speed and vision shrine end up going over to Exalt. That's going to be big for them. They'll have vision on this entire area for the next minute and with Dragon just now spawning they're going to use every opportunity they can really try hard are limited to their base. That's the fourth Dragon of the game going over to the new Exalt. They have absolutely dominated in Dragons this game Jetstone getting the stun off there and gets the escape, but the minions on the Nexus turrets here, and Tryhard needs a miracle. They need to get a good two, three man catch. And they really need to get up in Exalt's face on one of these turrets and try to make something happen if they just step back and concede all of these objectives it's not going to go any better for them at their nexus turrets. Rigel Q is just a monster. He is just pounding on Iconic despite the interference coming from Rasheed Defeat. Rasheed getting right up in Rigel's face but Rigel just doesn't care. He has every opportunity to escape here. Gets the flash out the smite onto him, the ward hop, gonna keep Rizal Q safe, but the flash anchor going to get in for the CC. That's the shutdown goal going over, but Sinful Baggins and crew are in this base. They have destroyed another inhibitor. They have destroyed, almost destroyed, halfway there, a Nexus turret. Crack Variety putting the damage down onto that. Another turret going over to them. Crack Variety gonna pay for that one with his life, though. He hung around long enough to get that one down, but you might say well worth shutdown gold being fed over but at this point 8,000 gold being in favor of the new exalt team tryhard barreling down this mid lane to try to get some sort of reciprocation catch somebody on the back but not finding it just yet they have a few minutes while Rizal Q and Crack Variety respawn 
so they're going to want to set their sights on this inhibitor and a great play by them they took advantage of riser kill and crack variety's absence on the map and equalized the lane pressure right there so with super minions spawning from team tryhard on that side they've really only got one lane to worry about and we are seeing a pause coming out at this point We're going to check into the status of the situation. We'll be right back with you guys. We apologize for the delay, folks. Looks like the problems have been sorted out, and we are back into it. Team Tryhard on the red side, the new Exalt on the blue side. Game sitting in favor of the new Exalt, but with both of those mid lane inhibitors down, right now Team Tryhard just has to contend with the bottom lane inhibitor. Baron and Dragon not up for grabs at this point, so both sides just focusing on pushing, warding, map position, trying to get themselves in a good spot. Ping's going down into the mid lane for the new Exalt. So we have a Nexus turret down on red side. Team Tryhard have to be looking at that.
Vision Denial coming across for New Exalt. Not finding any wards there to deny. And it looks like the Brattle Royale is going to be on top of this turret. Mycroft leading the way there. Pops the stand behind him. Fading a lot of damage. Knock up going across onto Iconic and Diesel's Empire. Empire has Tazania up out of that one. Enemy still has the Guardian Angel pumping lots of damage in from the back line. Wumpa Buff gets exhausted. So ends up firing.